Hey everybody, Quint Lears at the 2020 Nationals. Gina Nixon, best brochure, just got the best award. How does it feel to be here tonight? It's really exciting. I um, couldn't thank the team at Miles Brand anymore. We had such a great time working together. It's almost not work. There, I don't know where the quote is, but it's an old book. It says, look to the littles. And, um, you know, we look about, you know, the merchandising or the best floor plan. But you have a brochure, right? And so you're competing on something that, you know, maybe people throw away. But those little things can make a, a big difference, can't they? It was huge for us because we haven't talked to consumers before 2019. But our company, Thomas James Home, has been around since 2006. So we, w we did a big flip. We took our face live to the world, and it was a great experience. And we're talking about physical brochure, right, that you hand physical to people. Brochure, physical brochure. That's it handed. still makes a difference. I mean, people are still physical human beings. They like to touch, feel, and, and it gives a... I want to talk, I'm going to transition to the legend, David Miles. What, <laughs> tell me this. What, what brand or what are you trying to accomplish with a brochure? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I think you can make a good case that brochures are outdated because digital is so important, especially in the new home industry. So our philosophy is if you're going to do a brochure, do a brochure. Do something that's going to be memorable. This is a quality statement. They are competing uh, against mom and pop uh, builders, and they have the scale to take this model throughout the country. And so every touch point with that consumer is a statement of quality, and uh, we're building trust every step of the way. And so it's an opportunity to leave them with uh, something they're going to keep looking at the, the, as a potential buyer uh, that they'll be proud of. You know, maybe in the in the home building industry, we've gotten a little too big picture, you know, the website to this, but we've missed the little touch points. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, now let's let's break it down. Tell me about your brochure, tips, traps, tactics. What did you do different? Um, we took it to the heart, right? We went heart first. So you can set a tone for beautiful big homes that you're allowed to customize in a world that doesn't let you do that anymore. But more importantly, it's about the quality of life you get living in our homes. And the brochure was able to convey that because of our passion and our commitment to really improving the lives of people living in our homes. Okay, but let's get really specific. Do you use it? What color? Like I say, I want to attach through the heart. Is that through words? Is it the colors you use? Is it the texture? Of, are you using like really thick, thick paper, high quality? It's everything. It's everything. It's everything right down to putting your own personal commitment as a company as to what you're dedicated to delivering. Yeah. Anything? What, what advice would you have to say if somebody says, look, I want a great brochure? Give me a tip. Well, in this brochure, um, we had to help the reader understand where they fit in as a buyer. There are three different buyer types that we defined. <clears throat> Excuse me, but then we get into, like Gina said, the heart. So there's a whole spread on their why. And they treat everyone like family. And the uh, commitment that they have to the best possible experience it really comes through there. And so uh, I would say anybody doing a brochure, especially for a builder, should follow this example. I mean, yeah, people want to know what you stand for and if you're trustworthy and uh, what kind of a heart you have. Good to great, right? Is that the book Good you great. like? See, I studied, I, I pay attention. <laughs> now, but you're always reading, you're always growing. Tell me some resources that you're tapping into recently. Anything well, good? Uh, there's a ton. Uh, but uh, I did a three hour master session uh, yesterday um, and the research to do that of all of the different branding books that are out there, uh, there's, a, there's a ton of resources. I can't even think of them all right now. But that uh, opportunity helps me grow, right? And I like the challenge. It's creating three hours of content, you know, it can't all come from me. I'm finding it from everywhere, but uh, mostly online. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. yeah. Um, I like to say if you're going to the top, take some people with you. You're doing a great job of that. What does it mean to you, just the legacy of? Of, is it hundreds now? How many national awards to your legacy? 113. Wow. <laughs> 113, people. 113. <laughs> Listen, no, you're investing, you know, but but think about what it means to her and the company. And so I think there's a ripple effect. Um, anything else, anything, what does it mean to work with David and the, and the team? And, and any shout outs? They're like working with your family. It's great. They got Not they, my family. They got us. They got us completely as a company. And it was effortless and mindful and fun yeah. which is if you have the opportunity work with these guys <laughs> any last shout outs anybody behind the scenes you want to give a shout out to well especially to the management Tommy Beadle and and the, the rest of the people at Thomas James Holmes but uh, you know I would I would say uh, 
Something else that I can't remember right now. So I know, everybody's <laughs> tired. Every look when you did a three hour session, you yeah. got a you have a little bit of wiggle room here, right? Yeah. I mean you've been grinding, you've been doing it. So yeah. Guys, I'm proud to be with my friends here at the Nationals. Congratulations. Thank and, you so and, much. And, and I just want to tell you guys, if you've got a brochure, if you've got an idea, check out the Nationals. You might be surprised that there's categories that you can compete upon. And if nothing else, you see what they did different. Look at the other award winners. Part of coming to events like this is to see who goes to events like this, to meet them, to know them. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, aspire. aspire to inspire. That's what we say. Thank you. Visit thenationals.com.